Hi children, welcome to our YouTube channel KGBB SS Chittur. I am Sumulata, a math teacher from KGBB Ram Samutra. I think uh, all are staying at your home safely by taking COVID precautions and I hope all are regularly following our YouTube channel classes which are uh, belongs to your class. I think uh, all are following or not children? I hope so, all are following. No, no, yes, so you should follow uh, your class uh, concepts because uh, in this typical situation this is the best opportunity to get knowledge uh, in this way only. So why this decision taken by our officers means uh, nobody don't want to um, miss your uh, subject concepts. So uh, that's why we are conducting um, in this way classes and also our teachers uh, keep more uh, effect, effects uh, to make a video so i am suggesting you students uh, don't miss this uh, these classes and uh, keep improving your knowledge uh, in my previous video we discussed about the uh, history of numbers and uh, different number systems from stone age people to till now um, yeah, and uh, different number systems which were uh, redesigned by our modern number system and uh, briefly discuss about uh, that redesignated number systems. Especially in that uh, uh, redesignated number systems, we discuss about integers. So, in that integers, we discuss about uh, introduction of integers and uh, uh, what is meaning of integers and uh, how we can float it integers on number line and how we can differentiate uh, integers uh, with respect of zero and uh, how we can identify which, which is big and which is small in integers and uh, how we can um, uh, write ascending and descending orders of uh, integers uh, and also uh, addition and subtraction and multiplication uh, uh, of integers uh, on number line so by uh, different examples so and also i gave more, more homework um, uh, by the uh, by throwing these uh, examples i think uh, all are done i think all are finished your homeworks isn't it or not children? Okay, good. All, I think all are done. Okay, so in this class, uh, we will go to discuss about the uh, operations of integers and uh, properties of uh, integers. So, now before going to see that, uh, we just recall the how to do addition and subtraction and multiplication of uh, integers uh, on number line. So, by taking some examples. So, these are the examples. So, so 2 plus 3. So, already we um, uh, discussed how we can do um, uh, for in addition uh, when we add positive integer to positive integer we have to move forward to right of that number so for that here 2 plus 3 is there so 2 plus 3 means uh, we have to jump over 3 steps from 2 so 3 steps means from the 1 to 3 it will become 1 jump only then again up to 4 second jump then 5 up to 5 uh, this is the last jump that means uh, after 3 steps uh, we moved uh, on 5 we moved on uh, 5 so uh, so 2 plus 3 means uh, 5 in this way we get the answer on number line and uh, 3 plus minus 2 so already we discussed uh, how we can uh, uh, do addition when we uh, add a negative integer to positive integer so when we add negative integer to positive integer means we have to move uh, left side of that number. That means we have to move uh, left side of the number line. So here 3 plus minus 2 means we have to add minus 2 to 3. So that's why we have to move um, left side of 3. So that's why we have to jump 2 steps from 3. So again we have um, again um, jump after uh, 2 steps so we will get the answer. So that means 3 plus minus 2 is equal to 1. So again 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 means here he, here we are doing subtraction. So subtraction means uh, we subtract a positive integer a positive integer from positive integer. Here 4 and 2 both are positive integers. We subtract 2 from 4. So that means uh, um, uh, when we subtract a positive integer to positive integer uh, we, move, we move we take back steps from the number. So from the number. So that means uh, uh, we move, uh, we move uh, forward to uh, left side of the number, left side of the number, that means uh, um, 4 minus 2 means uh, we took 4 steps, 4 steps from 4, we took 2 steps from 4, that means uh, 4, um, four to, if we came 4 to 3, it will become 1 step and
and uh, 3 to uh, 3 to 2 it will become second step so last step is the answer so 4 minus 2 is equals to 2 4 minus 2 is equals to 2 here 1 here so next 4 minus minus 2 so this all are already discussed in our previous class just uh, we recall in now so 4 minus of minus 2 means uh, here we subtract uh, negative integer negative integer uh, from positive integer so here minus 2 is negative integer and 4 is a positive integer so in this way in, in, in this way we moved forward to right of the number we moved forward to right of the number that means uh, uh, forward to right of that number means uh, here uh, here 4 we add uh, we subtract minus 2 to 4 that's why we started from 4 so we started to move right uh, from 4 so so four, 4 from 4 we have to take uh, two steps that's why here 4 to 5 is one step and 4 to 6 is second step so the last step that means uh, two jumps we have to take from 4 so uh, the number the number which is on the uh, last jump that will be the answer here 4 minus of minus 2 is equals to 6 is the answer so in this way we done uh, addition and subtraction on number 9 now we have to go to see multiplication So there are uh, some examples how we can uh, do multiplication on integers. So here 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to here. That means 4 into 3 is there. 4 into 3. 4 into 3 means we add uh, 3 up to 4 times. Up to 4 times. We know all are now tables. So 4 3s are 12. Now firstly we say like that. But uh, we can do here on number line. So for that uh, we have to take the number line first. Then uh, we floated the numbers and uh, so here 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 means we add 3 up to 4 times. So that means uh, here uh, 4 and 3 both are having same signs. Same signs. That means we are adding positive integer to positive integer. Positive integer to positive integers. That means we are, uh, um, uh, uh, we are moving towards right to 0. Towards right to 0. So, we have to take 0 and we have right side. So, here uh, 4 into 3 means we have to uh, jump 4 jumps each of 3 steps uh, from, uh, from 0 towards right. So, 4 jumps each of 3, three steps from 0 towards right. And then 0 and we have to take 3 steps from 0 towards right. And then 0 and we have to take 3 steps from 0 towards right. So, okay. So, we have to take 4 jumps each of 3 steps from 0 towards right. So, if here jump 0 to 3, it will become 1 jump. Then uh, 3 to 6, it will become second jump. Then 6 to 9, it is a third. Then 6 to 12, if, if uh, it is the last jump. So, the last jump on uh, which, which number lies, that will be the answer. So, here 12 is there. 12 is the answer. Here, we can conclude that uh, uh, if we add positive number to positive number, we will get positive answer. And also, we multiplied uh, positive, uh, both, both are having same signs, so we will get positive answer. Next, here, 4 into minus 3 is there. That means, we, we have to add uh, minus 3 up to 4 times. Up to 4 times. So, here also, like uh, addition, addition. See once here, so we have to add, a, we have to add a, uh, negative integer, we have to add a negative integer to negative integer, negative integer to negative integer. Uh, that means uh, in addition, what we done there, what we done there means uh, 4 plus minus 3 is there, 4 plus minus 3. At the time, what we have done there means uh, uh, we have to key, uh, take uh, left of the number. We have to take jump from left of that number. Here also do like that only. So here, so 4 into minus 3 means uh, we have to take uh, um, jumps from left, left side of the 0. Left side of the 0. So how many uh, how many jumps uh, take in a step means uh, so the, this number tells us. So we have to take 4 jumps in a, um, in uh, in each of each of three steps each of three, three steps that means at a time we have to take a, we have to jump three numbers at a time so here 
0 to minus 3. So, 0 to minus 3 means uh, 1, 2, 3. It will become 1 jump. So, left arm, we have to uh, take left side jumps from 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, minus 12 is the answer. Minus 12 is the answer. That means, uh, four, 4, that means, uh, in multiplication, both are having negative signs. We will get negative answer. So, this example tells us. This example tells us here. So, minus 3, we add minus 3 up to 4 times. That's why we will get negative answer. So, from this example, we can conclude that. So, um, uh, in multiplication, uh, the numbers which are having uh, opposite signs, we will get the negative sign. So, there is another example. So, what is that means? So, minus 3 into minus 3. So, minus 3 into minus 3 can be written um, uh, uh, like this. So, keep a minus, uh, um, uh, um, minus uh, um, uh, outside of the bracket. So, minus into minus 3 into minus 3. So, minus 3 into minus 3, minus 9. How we will get means in before example, we saw, we saw that. So, like that, we will get minus 9. Then again, minus 9 into minus 9 can be written like this. So, so can be written like this. And also, 0 minus of minus 9 means there is no wrong in that, uh, uh, right like that. So, minus of minus of minus 9. So, why I wrote like this means uh, when we um, uh, subtract negative integers from positive integers, we, we, we have to move uh, right side of the 0. So, right side of the 0. When we right side of the 0, we will get positive answer. So, for that 0 minus of minus 9 means we will get a positive answer. So, so this tells us this example. So, so we have to move uh, from 0 to 9 step right side of the 0. So, we have to jump uh, nine, 9 steps from, from 0. So, okay. So, 0 to 9. So, in this way, when we, uh, when we multiply um, uh, the numbers which are having negative signs we will get positive answer so that means sir uh, minus into minus plus minus into minus plus so this is these are the uh, different examples on a uh, um, uh, multiplication which are having uh, bo both uh, same signs and uh, uh, negative signs uh, we will get like this so so from these examples we can conclusion like this we can conclude like this so what is that means sir uh, in addition in, in addition, in subtraction, in multiplication, we, we have to go to conclusion. So, minus, minus, so, when, we, first of all, uh, we should observe whether two or two numbers are having same signs or not. In addition, two numbers having same sign, we will get the same, we will get the same, same sign answer. That means, uh, the one example is there. So, what that, uh, plus 5, plus 6. That means, so both are having same sign. That, that's why we will get the plus symbol plus symbol answer so plus next to minus 5 minus 6 means we will get the answer minus 11 so these are um, uh, this type of uh, problems already we done on number line so here uh, we are going to conclusion only but, uh, again we are recalling now only that's it so for, for this uh, for this type of uh, conclusions already we done uh, we done uh, the problems on number line by taking more examples so again uh, uh, negative signs plus into minus minus into plus we will get a bigger number sign so minus 6 plus 1 so here we have to go to then addition so when we add a negative integer so positive integer so we move on the left of that number so left of that when we a left of that number means we have to uh, we have to jump left of that numbers so how many number how many um, jumps we have to take means this number tells us so 6 minus 1 means we have to jump from left of 6 only one jump so that's why we will get a 5 that uh, the number the, the number which is having um, a bigger bigger number sign that answer will have that only next uh, plus 6 minus 8 means uh, here uh, here also we have to go to add so we have to go to uh, add, uh, add a negative integer to positive integer uh, we moved on to left of that number so so here 6 minus 8 6 minus 8, eight means we have to left of the uh, 6 so uh, up to take 8 steps 8 steps so that's why we have to uh, uh, um, we will get the answer minus 2 we will get the answer minus 2 <coughs> So, in this way, uh, we get conclusion from uh, our previous examples in addition. Okay. So, I that uh, uh, all students under, understand very well. So, we took many examples uh, for the getting conclusion this. So, I think all are understand very well. So, le let us come to about uh, subtraction. <coughs> 
in subtraction uh, in subtraction there is only one way so uh, the, in in, uh, in two numbers uh, whether they are uh, one is having positive and one is having negative only so when plus and minus minus and plus we will get when we sub subtracted that both uh, two numbers we will get the bigger number sign only we will get the bigger numbers sign we will get bigger number sign for that uh, plus 6 minus 1 take examples like this so plus 6 minus 1 means here we have to go to subtraction we have to go to subtraction so in subtraction <coughs> in subtraction one has a uh, one has negative and one has a positive so uh, in the in subtraction we have to go to subtract and uh, uh, keep the bigger the bigger number sign uh, left side of the uh, uh, num number which we will get as an answer so uh, to left side of that number we have to keep the bigger number sign only okay so these all are conclusion which were uh, by uh, clearly observed uh, by the previous examples so this is all about addition and subtraction okay so so here we have, we have to clearly observe observe uh, when uh, two numbers have both signs we will get uh, the that sign only after addition then uh, in addition only when two are having uh, opposite signs we will get a, a bigger number sign for the answer so in subtraction in in subtraction also um, in subtraction also we will get the bigger number sign so come uh, come mm, uh, come to let's know what about uh, multiplication mm. First, first we have to observe the about the signs of integers. So when they are when, when they two are having same signs, we will get the positive sign for the answer. Positive sign for the answer. So here there, there are one example. There is a one example. Plus five into plus two is equals to ten. That means uh, here um, uh, multiplication is nothing but a repetition of addition. No. So in addition, how we can then and how uh, which type of answer we will get? That type of answer only uh, we will get in multiplication also. So if we applicable uh, add addition addition property, we will get easily multiplication also uh, for integers. So next again, um, uh, both are having negative signs. We will get the negative sign only. Simple negative sign only. So minus five into plus two is equals to minus ten. Already uh, how uh, how it will become uh, how, how it came already I said throw examples. So next one plus five into minus two is equals to minus ten minus ten. So next so this is the this is about the multiplication when two are having same signs. Um, after multiplication we get a positive sign only now uh, when two are having uh, negative signs uh, that answer uh, will get a negative sign only so there is uh, uh, no confusion in uh, um, in that so multiplication is uh, very easy to recognize which type of sign we have to keep uh, uh, left side of the answer in addition and subtraction only we have to um, uh, we have to okay, keep the sign carefully that's it so in that only in addition uh, when we add a positive uh, number to positive number, we have to keep positive. Then a uh, negative number to negative number, we have to keep ne negative after addition. Then in uh, uh, take, take um, uh, if we that the two numbers having uh, different signs, so we have to uh, subtract them and uh, keep bigger number sign. That's it. Simple. Next, <coughs> division of integers. So division of integers. Already we saw addition how to uh, how we can done uh, addition and subtraction and multiplication uh, for integers. Now. This is the time to know division of integers. Division of integers. See, there is a one example. There is a one example. Minus 10 by 2 is equals to minus 10. There is a only one negative sign is there. Only negative sign is there. Just simply we, we uh, divide them and keep that uh, negative sign. That's it. Keep that negative sign. If we have any doubt, take a, a division method. Algorithm division is there now. So what is that algorithm division? So dividend. So this is known as dividend. This is divisor. This quotient. Then this is a reminder. So uh, we know that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus a reminder. So when we uh, both multiply divisor and dividend and add div uh, quotient, add reminder, we will get the um, dividend with sign with uh, with the sign. So at that time only that quotient will be the right. Okay. So 10 by 2 means 10 minus 10 by 2 means minus 10. Take it as a div dividend. And the divisor is there, so take it as a divisor. So only one minus sign is there. 
only minus sign is there only a minus sign is there so that we keep that minus sign to quotient and uh, divide they divide it at it, at it is a natural number so 10 by 2 so 10 by 2 means 10 by 10 by 2 means hmm, we have to divide 10 as 2 equal parts as 2 equal how we can mean so 5 plus 5 so take that 5 so 2 5 are 10 2 5 are 10 again uh, 2 into minus 5 means minus 10 only how it will come means uh, already we said uh, through examples so minus 10 minus 10 by minus 10 is equals to 0 minus 10 by minus 10 is equals to 0 in this way we can then division of uh, integers so next again if two are having negative signs what we can then means uh, here also here also example is there so take it as uh, minus 10 as divided and minus 2 as a uh, divisor when we divided uh, minus 10 by minus 2 we get a uh, 5 we get a uh, 5 that means uh, we can divide it minus 10 by minus 2 two equal parts e each one have a e each part has a uh, 5 okay so minus 2 into 5 minus 2 into 5 is equals to minus 10 so here minus 2 is there minus 10 so minus 2 so minus 2 into 5 is equals to minus 10 by 0 so in this way also we can then uh, division of integers the division of integers so dear students um, i said all type of problems under uh, uh, operations of uh, integers so either it is addition subtraction and multiplication and uh, division so in our textbook there are so many problems up to um, exercise two three four so different type of problems are there uh, with different numbers so you may take it as homeworks and so then into so uh, if a comma b are any two integers then a into b belongs to i then a comma b satisfies closer property under multiplication then uh, division so if a comma b are two integers a, a divided by b belongs to uh, integer that means a, a, a if a divided b so after dividing we get answer no so that answer so that number belongs to integers uh, then we can say um, that two numbers uh, satisfies uh, closer property under division so like this say we can uh, check whether two numbers are uh, satisfies this closer property or not so there, there is a one example so what is that means uh, a is equals to 5 b is equals to minus 2 so so first of all we have to go to check under addition so a plus b is equals to so a, a, we have to take a as 5 and b as uh, minus 2 5 plus minus 2 that means uh, 5 plus of plus of minus 2 means will become minus so i already i said so throw examples how uh, how 5 plus of minus 2 will become that means uh, plus into minus uh, plus into minus which type of uh, sign we will get uh, already we discussed uh, so various examples so that's why uh, for every time uh, we can't check uh, through examples for that uh, we have to buy hat so uh, uh, what means uh, uh, plus into minus um, uh, which type of uh, sign we will get like that we have to buy hat plus into minus 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 into plus minus minus into minus plus plus into plus plus so like that you have to buy hat then only you have to um, uh, then uh, the problems very easily then also for uh, further classes uh, you will then problems very easily so that the for that five plus into minus here will become minus so five into minus means three so three also belongs to i know i means uh, integer so in integers so negative numbers positive numbers and um, uh, zero also um, uh, included so that's why if we get uh, this type of any number we will uh, uh, say that uh, that number belongs to integer only so next uh, comes on so a plus b belongs to i that means uh, so under addition these two numbers are satisfied so um, closer property so so integers can satisfy closer property under addition next comes under uh, subtraction so here a minus b if a minus b also if you take any any two numbers so if we substitute a and b uh, b um, yeah, in the place of a and b if we substitute numbers if we get integer then we can say that two numbers uh, can also satisfy closer property under subtraction let us check uh, these two numbers are satisfy or not so 5 minus 2 so 5 minus of minus 2 is there 5 minus of minus 2 that means uh, minus into minus plus already i said we should buy hat the um, the product of uh, signs also 
so 5 minus or minus 2 for minus into minus plus 5 plus 2 means 7 so 7 also belongs to integer no 7 also integer that's why so that two numbers that means a comma b are um, satisfies closer property under subtraction next go to in, um, uh, multiplication here a into b for that numbers also we have to go to do multiplication so 5 into minus 2 5 into minus 2 means 5 into minus 2 means plus into minus plus into minus minus so minus how will come means already we said from previous examples so no need to again say that so just we have to buy hat so plus into minus means minus 5 to the 10 so minus 10 so minus 10 also belongs to integer now so that's why minus 10 belongs to integer that that means uh, so under um, uh, multiplication uh, integers can satisfy closer property next we have to go to check uh, uh, under division so a divided by b so a divided by b means uh, so a, a uh, we have to write uh, 5 in the place of 5 a and uh, minus 2 in the place of p so 5 minus 5 by minus 2 so 5 by minus 2 means which type of sign we have to get means uh, already we said they in, in what uh, division of properties in, in division property so any number divided by negative number we will get we will get a negative answer only so um, when two numbers divided by each other so we will get a positive answer so 5, five minus 2 is equals to minus 2.5 so minus 2.5 means so decimals are not considered as integers so we get integer here you see the decimal here we we, we get it we got a decimal here so decimal is not considered as integer so that's why uh, under division um, uh, integers not satisfies closer property so in this way we have to go to check uh, whether two numbers are uh, um, satisfies closer property uh, under various uh, um, uh, fundamentals of mathematics so whether it is addition subtraction and uh, division uh, multiplication or uh, division so in this way we have to check for any two integers um, whether it is a uh, satisfy or not closer property so this is all about closer property now let's go to see another property what is that means a commutative property so what is the commutative property means so commutative property a comma b are any two integers then a plus b is equals to b plus a or a minus b is equals to b minus a or a into b is equals to b into a or a divided by b is equals to b divided by a uh, we can say that uh, that two in, that uh, the, that two integers uh, can satisfy some uh, commutative property with the respect of uh, um, with, the, with the respect of uh, fun, fun, uh, fundamentals in mathematics fundamentals of mathematics so fundamental of uh, fundamental science of mathematics so what are that means either it is addition subtraction multiplication or a division so let, let us take uh, any two integers so uh, let uh, first one is uh, 8 let b be the minus 5 so now let us check uh, let us go to check uh, uh, these two numbers are uh, satisfies um, with the respect of uh, fundamentals of mathematics so plus so a plus b so a plus b so we have to write uh, 8 in the place of a and uh, minus 5 in the place of b so here plus into minus minus 8 minus 5 means 3 so b plus a is equals to minus 5 plus 8 that is equals to 3 that means 3 is equals to 3 that means a plus b is equals to b plus a so here we, be, we, we get the same answers on both sides of equal that means a plus b is equals to b plus a so we can say that uh, that two numbers that means uh, the integers uh, are satisfies uh, uh, commutative property under addition now we have to go to uh, check uh, subtraction a minus b is equals to 8 minus of minus 5 so here minus into minus plus 8 plus 5 so 8 plus 5 means 13 next uh, b minus a b minus a means we have to change the numbers only here so b means minus 5 minus 8 minus minus so um, uh, the integers the integers which are having same signs in subtraction or uh, addition um, uh, after uh, after addition we have to go we have to keep the same signs um, left side of that answer so 8 5 if we add 8 5 we will get the 13 
so both are having same sign so minus 13 we, we have to keep there so but uh, 13 is uh, 13 is not equals to minus 13 so 13 is more more than 0 but minus 13 is less than 0 that's why uh, but um, that two are uh, not equal uh, uh, not equal ever so f minus b is equals to, is not equals to b minus a so kabati ila chapta man mata 13 and the minus 13 ke apati ke equal kaadan mata endu kare ente 13 and the sunna kante pedda di minus 13 sunna kante chunna di kabati apati ke avi so samana maya chance ite apati ke unna dan mata so kabati a minus b is not equals to b minus a therefore in this case we can say that um, um, integers doesn't satisfy the um, commutative property under uh, subtraction next going to multiplication going to multiplication so a into b is equals to 8 into minus 5 8 into minus 5 that is equals to minus 40 so here plus is there minus is there when we uh, multiply uh, multiply the multiply the integers uh, which are having different signs so we will get negative answer that means plus into minus minus 40 so b into a is equals to minus 5 into 8 that means uh, minus 40 here we get uh, same answers on, uh, uh, on both sides of equal that means a, plus a into b is equals to b into a in that uh, in this case we can say that uh, integers uh, can satisfy uh, um, commutative property under multiplication so now let us check uh, uh, um, for division so 8 divided by minus 5 is there 8 divided by minus 5 that means uh, minus 8 by 5 already already we know divisibility property division property so what is division property in division uh, any number have have minus we get the minus answer so that uh, for that uh, 8 by 5 first uh, we calculate then we will get to 1.6 that means minus 1.6 here then we have to change the numbers minus 5 divided by 8 is equals to minus 8 by 5 that is equals to b divided by a is equals to minus 0 0.62 that means minus 1.6 is not equals to minus 0 0.62 minus 0 0.62 is more than minus 1.6 that's why a minus b a divided by b is not equals to b divided by a so in this case we can say that um, uh, under uh, division also integers doesn't satisfy the commutative property so in this way we have to check any integer whether it is satisfied that with respect of uh, with respect of uh, uh, properties so uh, whether it is a uh, um, um, closer or commutative or associative or identity or inverse so if you take any two numbers we have to you know, go to check and uh, we can get the conclusions also so in this way so this is a associative property for any three integers a b c then uh, these three are satisfies like this so, with respective of that operation, we can say that uh, integers uh, can satisfy associative property with respect uh, with respective of that operation. That means uh, whether it is uh, addition, maybe uh, maybe addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. In uh, in which operation these integers can satisfy by checking like this, we can say that uh, that integers can satisfy associative property with respective of uh, that operation. So here we have to check first addition. So a plus of b plus c. Uh, so a, if uh, a plus of b plus c is equals to b a plus b of plus c, then we can say that uh, uh, integers can satisfy associative property under addition. So whether it satisfies or not, check no. So uh, 5 plus of 4 plus of minus 2, minus into minus uh, plus into minus minus plus into minus uh, minus. So, 4, uh, yes, plus into minus, minus. So, oh, after subtraction 4 from uh, 2 from 4 means we will get a 2. So, 5 plus 2 means 7. Next, uh, uh, take LHS, yeah, RHS, A plus of, uh, if uh, here, A plus B plus C is equal to 5 plus 4 plus of minus 2. Minus into minus, plus into minus, minus 9 minus 2 means 7. So, here, we sat, uh, no, here, uh, in addition, uh, satis addition satisfies uh, associative property. So a plus a minus of b minus c. That means we have to subtract like this. We have to uh, substitute substitute numbers in the place of um, a b c. That means alphabets. We will get answers like this. Here we have to do um, um, uh, calculation uh, correctly. Then we, uh, if uh, your, your calculation may be wrong, uh, you won't get accurate answer. For that we have to do calculate uh, perfectly first. 
so for that we have to uh, learn um, um, in uh, learn the product of science how how uh, to science uh, product uh, uh, which type of uh, sign we'll, we will get like that you have to uh, buy hard first next uh, a plus b plus c is equal to here a minus b minus c is equal to pi minus 4 minus half minus 2 pi minus 4 means we know 1 then uh, minus into minus already we know plus so minus into minus plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so but lhs answer is not equal to r for rhs answer that's why subtraction will not satisfy associative property integers so integers cannot satisfy associative property under subtraction so now we have to go to check under multiplication so here multiplication is there so a into b here equation multiplication equation is there that means associative property rule so a into b into c is equals to a into b plus c so first of all we have to check uh, uh, lhs so a into b into c is equals to 5 into 4 into minus 2 that means 5 into plus into minus minus 4 to the 8 that means 5 5 8 0 minus 40 in product any uh, my negative sign uh, my, my, bo both are having negative signs uh, we will get negative answer that means uh, we will get minus 40 so a into b into c is equals to 5 into 4 into minus 2 but 4 are 20 into minus 2 is equals to minus 40 are you trying to understand now so if if you understand um, uh, in, in this chapter uh, properties uh, for other uh, for uh, further classes you may done easily so this is the introduction part of uh, properties so um, e class lo meer properties anedi introduction introduction avtay anamata so kabatti e class lo meer correct ga innarante so ink raaboye class lo meer chaala baaga easy ga artham chesukogalutaru anamata so kabatti ikkada properties ante emi closer property ela untundi commutative property ela untundi associative property ela untundi so next vachi additive inverse ela untundi tarvata additive identity ante emi anni ippude meeku ikkada basics padtayi kabatti meer correct ga baaga ga observe chesarante chaala easy ga untundi anamata idi chaala easy ante chaala easy just man em chesam anante we have to go to substitute numbers in the place of alphabets only that's it so just we have just uh, we recall or we recognize what is meant by closure property what is its equation so every every properties equation uh, you will recognize means uh, you will do for easily that's it just to uh, substitute the numbers in the place of uh, alphabets only so whether it is uh, satisfies or not with the respective operation you will get uh, easily so a is div uh, divided by b divided by c is equal to means uh, so first of all we have to substitute numbers in the place of alphabets 5 divided by 4 divided by minus 2 is equal to 5 divided by minus 2 is equal to 5 by minus 2 that is equal to minus 2.5 so minus 2.5 then here we get 0 0.625 that means uh, already i said so uh, um, fractions and uh, decimals are not considered as uh, integers the, uh, we, can, we can show that uh, these also on number line but uh, these are not integers okay so these are not integers and also we don't we uh, here we didn't get the same for same uh, decimals also so for that in, um, uh, in a uh, division integers cannot satisfy associative property so in this way any property we have to check but uh, for that we have to know only what is the equation for that um, property that's it so this is about the associative property so there is another one property so this is nothing but additive identity so what is mean by additive identity so additive identity means so for any number if we add a number we will get same number that uh, identity is known as additive identity ante emi edaina oka number ki manam e number ni add chesthe tirigi manaki ade number vastundo danni additive identity ani antam so, this identity to man ki future le chala problems ani dosa hi. So, this chala problem problems means we have to do so many problems uh, by the by taking of this uh, property. Ajar mat. Ante, this e property ni use cheski man future le chala uh, problems ni salu chala sunto dhan mat. Ante, I mean indirect ka salu chala sunto ni. Indirect ka man maalo chichi ho ho. This identity identity prakar me salu chala sunto dhan ni thil sunto ni. So, if 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 kuva competitive exams lo, this e property me the kuva question sunto ni arag dhan chance sunto ni. Kabat, this basic కాబట్టి మీరు బాగా దీన్ని బాగా ఫస్ట్ మీరు బాగా మైండ్ లో పికిచ్ చేసుకున్నారంటే ఎప్పటికీ మర్చిపోరన్నమాట సో ఐడెంటిటీ ఐడెంటిటీ మీన్స్ వాట్ వి విల్ సీ దట్ సో ఫర్ ఎనీ ఇంటిజర్ a ఇఫ్ a 0 0 a a 
so for any integer so again we uh, again we will get a we have to add zero only so yedaina oka number ki zero add chesthe manaku aa number vastund anamata so we can say that zero is the additive identity of any number so zero is the additive identity of any number so for any integer a if a plus zero is zero is equals to zero plus a is equals to a then we can say that uh, zero is the additive inverse additive inverse so additive inverse so this property only for additions so not subtractions not multiplications not divisions so in addition only uh, this zero will satisfies so kabatti so minus 2 plus 0 means again we will get the minus 2 there is no question so there is no question if we add any number to zero if we add zero to any number we will get that that is number only we will get that number only so 5 plus 0 is equals to 5 a plus 0 is equals to what ma a plus 0 is equals to again we will get the 8 minus 10 plus 0 means we will get a minus 10 only so for any number if we add zero we will get that number only so next so this is a very important one and easy one so additive inverse so additive inverse so what is meant by additive inverse if we add a, if we add a number for any number that addition will become zero that two numbers are said to be a additive inverse of each other and they mean so one number ki a number naite add chesamo additive ane undi ikkada additive ante add addition ante so addition anamata so oka number ki a number ki aithe add chestamo add chesina appudu aa number yokka value mottham zero aipothundo appudu aa two numbers ni oka daniki okati additive inverse ani cheptam anamata so so manamu uh, in definition we have to say like this so for any integer for any integer a there exist minus a there exist minus a such that a plus of minus a is equals to zero for any integer a there exist minus a such that a plus of minus a is equals to zero so already we said no if we add a number to any number that uh, sum will become zero the two, two numbers are both, uh, uh, called as uh, additive inverse for each other so both the integers are called additive inverse for of each other so say um, I want a number I want a number to 1 I will get the answer 0 for what number uh, I want to choose means I want to choose minus 1 they are only they said minus a so a m lay than matter so 1 and kin in the add just a sunna was in the end a m lay in the mother minus petes 1 plus of minus 1 petes we will get 0 so for any number if we add a a number we will get zero that adding number and the that before number we have to say that uh, inverse inverses of each other additive inverses of each other so let us go to see some example for this property So what is additive inverse? So a plus of minus a become zero. And that's one one. So then go so one piece. Now. What is the additive inverse of one means minus one only no? One plus of minus one. So that is equals to plus into minus minus already we know. Plus into minus minus one. So we already learned to plus into minus minus. That is equals to one minus one is equals to zero. Here we get a we got zero. That means sir. What is additive inverse of 1 means we have to say minus 1. So keep y minus that only the additive inverse of that number. And minus 3 plus of. What is the additive inverse of minus 3 means we have to keep opposite signs. Opposite sign. So what is the opposite sign of minus means plus 3. Plus sign. So plus 3. What is the opposite sign of minus 3 means plus 3. So plus into minus minus. That is equals to 0. A number and R number and this is the so now we will see the brief introduction and then we will see the brief we are studying 7th class so we will see the brief introduction and then so, I am more pale. Where I am put the edges. I am put my grey mountain. The yellow mountain. The yellow mountain. Then yellow mountain. So, no mountain. So, even that the first nine months are clear. But the yellow next to only. So, so when we uh, when we add a uh, same number with uh, with that opposite sign, we will get a zero. So, these are the some examples. Again, take one example. So, eight eight minus eight. So, plus eight minus eight. So, plus eight minus eight means we will get zero.
zero. So what is the additive inverse of eight means uh, minus eight. What is the additive inverse of five means minus five. What is the additive inverse of uh, minus four means plus four. So if I ask uh, um, if I ask um, uh, a number, you have to say uh, with the, that opposite sign number. We have to say with, with that opposite sign. Okay. So these are all uh, uh, properties in which are in our seventh class textbook. So students, how many properties are there? So let us. So closer property, commutative property, associative property, additive inverse, and um, uh, additive inverse and additive. Identity. So, totally five properties uh, uh, we discussed uh, with the respect of different operations. Okay. So, this is the fundamentals. fundamentals. properties fundamentals. So, this is the 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 So, I taught uh, many, uh, through many examples these properties. So, students. Um, and also, uh, you are, uh, in your test book, uh, uh, for, uh, th third and fourth exercise based on properties only. Uh, so, uh, take that take that book and uh, you, you may done uh, that problems as your homeworks. So, if you have any doubts means you may ask uh, by the phone calls. Okay, students. So, uh, stay at homes. Um, uh, stay in your home only. Don't go outside. Um, uh, be safe and be healthy. Bye, children. So there is another one property. So this is nothing but additive identity. So what is meant mean by additive identity? So additive identity means so for any number, if we add a number, we will get same number. That uh, identity is known as additive identity. And I mean, ये देना वो का number की मान ये number ने add जैसे तेरे के मन का ये number उस सुन्दर दाने additive identity याने अंडा so e identity to manaki future lo chaala problems so this is chaala problem problems means we have to do so many problems uh, by the by taking up this uh, property other matter ante ee property ni use chesi manam future lo chaala uh, problems ni solve cheyalasi untundi anamata ante emi indirect ga solve cheyalasi untundi indirect ga manam aalochichi ho ho idi identity identity prakaram ni solve cheyalasi untundi ani telustundi so ekkuva competitive exams lo ee property meeda ekku questions anedi adagadaniki chances untundi kabatti idi basic kabatti meer baaga deenni baaga first meer baaga mind lo ekki chestunnarante eppudiki marchipovali anamata so additive identity means what we will see that so for any integer a if a plus 0 is equals to 0 plus a is equals to a. So for any integer, so again we uh, again we will get a, we have to add 0 only. So a number 0 add chasin man ka number So we can say that 0 is the additive identity of any number. So 0 is the additive identity of any number. So for any integer a, if a plus 0 is 0 is equals to 0 plus a is equals to a, then we can say that uh, 0 is the additive inverse. Additive inverse. So additive inverse. So this property only for additions. So not subtractions, not multiplications, not divisions. So in addition only, uh, this 0 will satisfy. So, so minus 2 plus 0 means again we will get the minus 2. There is no question. So there is no question. If we add any number to 0, if we add 0 to any number, we will get that, that number only. We will get that number only. So 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. A plus 0 is equal to what ma? A plus 0 is equal to again we will get the 8. Minus 10 plus 0 means we will get a minus 10 only. So for any number, if we add 0, we will get that number only. So next, so this is a very important one and easy one. So additive inverse. So additive inverse. So what is meant by additive inverse? If we add, a, if we add a number for any number, that addition will become zero. That two numbers are said to be a additive inverse of each other. And I mean, so what number ki? Ye number naite add jaisa mo additive ani only kar. Additive ante add addition ante. So add addition an mat. So what number ki? Ye number kaite add jaisa mo. Add jaisa na puru a number ek value matam zero ay potundo. Apuru a two numbers ni wakatan ko kate additive inverse an chapter an mat. So so one more in definition we have to say like this. So for any integer, for any integer a there exists minus a. There exists minus a such that a plus of minus a is equals to zero. For any integer, 
ए देर एक्सिस्ट माइनस ए सच दैट ए प्लस आफ माइनस ए इज ईक्वल टू जीरो सो आलरे हू सैट नो इफ यू ऐड ए नंबर टू एनी नंबर दट सम विल बिकम जीरो दट टू नंबर आर कॉल एस अडिटिव इनवर्स फॉर ईच अदर सो बोथ द इंटीजर्स आर कॉल अडिटिव इनवर्स फॉर आफ ईच अदर सो से I want a number. I want a number to one. I will get the answer zero. For what number? Uh, I want to choose means I want to choose minus one. They are only they said minus a. So a m less than one. So one means that you need to add just a small number to the number. A m less. Then the number that minus one is one plus half minus one plus one. We will get zero. So for any number, if we add a number, we will get zero. That adding number and the that before number, we have to say that inverse inverses of each other, additive inverses of each other. So let us go to see some example for this property. So what is additive inverse? So a plus of minus a become zero. अलग रावल में. So then को सम one plus one. What is the additive inverse of one means minus one only no? One plus of minus one. So that is equals to plus into minus minus already we know. Plus into minus minus one. So we already learned to plus into minus minus. That is equals to one minus one is equals to zero. Here we get a we got zero. That means sir. What is additive inverse of one means we have to say minus one. So keep by minus that only the additive inverse of that number. And minus three plus half. What is the additive inverse of minus three means we have to keep opposite sides. Opposite side. So what is the opposite sign of minus means plus three. Plus sign. So plus three. What is the opposite sign of minus three means plus three. So plus into minus minus. That is equals to zero. A number and R number लेने चाहिए इसे इसके सुना नहीं होता है दिन मरी ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन है ना मन कौन सी है ये ना कहने वे आर स्टडीइंग सेवेंथ क्लास सो कब टी है सो मोर मोर रुपए लेने मन लेकर मोर रुपए लेना ये सो आम मोर रुपए लेने वेरे वन पुट गए चीज़ हम अपने मन लेकर ये मंटन दे ये में मंटन ये में मंटन तो ये मन तो मुस्� so ये विधान का चपास नाव से मुंडा लेत का बट्टे ये ला नेच्च कर ले so so even we when we add a same number with with that opposite sign we will get a zero so these are the some examples again take one example so eight eight minus eight so plus eight minus eight so plus eight minus eight means we will get zero so what is the additive inverse of eight means minus eight what is the additive inverse of five means minus five what is the additive inverse of minus four means plus four so if I ask um, if I ask um, uh, a number, you have to say uh, with the, that opposite sign number. We have to say the, with that opposite sign. Okay. So these are all uh, properties in which are in your seventh class textbook. So students, how many properties are there? So let us so closer property, commutative property, associative property, additive inverse, and um, uh, additive inverse and additive. Identity. So total A five properties uh, we discussed uh, with the respect of different operators.